commercial world of football, we initially think multi-million pound shirt sponsorships, glossy match day programmes, striking digital LED advertising which is now a common theme across the most lucrative top flights in the game. At the pinnacle of the pyramid, it's rife with multi-million pound stadia, some of which have been funded through commercial rights, offering executive boxes giving the best seats in the house and first-class Michelin standard food and unrivaled hospitality. At the top of the game, you're right to think that, but that's not to say that the commercial world of football is so much broader than the stereotype and the identity that it has. So we'd like to take a moment to explain the football pyramid to you in England. Let's start with the Premier League, the top flight. 20 clubs with large commercial and hospitality sales teams generating commercial partnerships that are often the biggest in the game. The EFL Championship, arguably the most lucrative second tier in world football. The prize money when promoted is unrivalled and commercially it's head and shoulders above any other second tier anywhere in Europe. Sponsorship and commercial partnerships are extremely lucrative at this tier. EFL Leagues 1 and 2. Clubs will almost always have one full-time commercial manager working on behalf of the clubs, developing partnerships alongside its standard league sponsorship. So, heading into non-league and the National League, almost all of the clubs are full-time status and will have a full-time commercial manager on the payroll generating commercial revenue on its behalf. On to Tier 6, the National League North and South. Some clubs are full-time, most are semi-pro. Most of the bigger clubs at this status of the pyramid will have full-time commercial managers, however, most will be part-time within the club. And finally, Tier 7 and below, a large chasm of commercial inactivity within the game. Clubs do not have the budget to hire commercial managers and revenue streams are often generated by an already overworked club secretary, general manager or in some cases, in extreme circumstances, volunteers at the club. But that's not to say that they're not commercially valuable. A lot of clubs at such a level in the pyramid play massive parts in their local community. The level of stadia is unlike anywhere else in non-league across Europe. And the fact that Tier 7 matches in England can generate four-figure attendances make our football pyramid extremely unique. So, clubs that do not have the budget for commercial representation, yet feel that they can generate much-needed commercial revenue, where do they go? The answer? Network football management. We have a portfolio of clubs that we have generated impressive commercial revenue results for within non-league football. Take a look at our testimonials. So, whether it be pitch side or match day programme, branding and advertising, stand sponsorships. Shirt branding and advertising deals. Or general commercial partnerships into your football club. Contact Darren Court at Network Football Management on 01704 871 577 or email darren at networkfootballmanagement.co.uk. Make a difference to your football club's commercial revenue today.